Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Stale pellet. This is yummy, guys. This is the best food I've ever tasted. Give me more. Oh my god, I'm moving the elevator with, with feeding. That's an awesome idea. Why is it so dark? Oh, that's lovely. Why do you have papers on your ding dong? My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have to call? Have the gall? Have the gall? To commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune. You narcissistic idiot. Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry. I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us. No. Bob, you're a show, show very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Ted. And don't think I don't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat classified, put it away, idiot. Ted. I feel like Bob's a, a big. Uh. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour for the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochures is redacted, except for the walking sentient cord on the front. Ted. Co-founded. Okay. Papi Maktavi. Ma Max Havish. Maktavash. Co-founder. So let's explore this underground lab a little bit more. Hi, Ted. The finished ship mix should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Ted. It looks like a, it looks like a teddy bear. It appears to be an official guidebook for a, a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats and mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay very large vats. Okay. Bob, you jerk, you put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and it is a stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here, Ted. Scribbletron. Like every model, this Scribbletron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws, okay? Bob, stop playing stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiment, idiot. Not the AI experiment. There we go. There we go. So, oh, computer. Oh, sweet. I guess 
once you're comes back from the press, take a look, it'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that most of the sentient bits, sensitive bits have been replaced. Safety first. Bob, first one. First, you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name on, on name to it. We're co-research heads, remember, as in same title, jerk. Alright, I'm really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make double sure the next ones have your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob, do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Good question. Let me and Chauncey figure, or me and my English mom figure that out. Chauncey's in my pocket. That's it, exciting news. I get us all huge deals on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used savings for some great stuff, okay? Bob, you, idiot, you get a good deal on them because they're completely useless. Nobody can wear them. I'll take it. Made out of material that looks like it will fall apart. It's mere thought of a gentle breeze. The jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Hmm. Just the battle room? Good for hanging coats, unless it's placed upside down, which in case is not very effective at all. Nice. <laughs> Appears to be a report on the warframe readiness of the subject of Project Maze. The report status multiple times that states multiple times that the sentient corn had no uh, no method of raising or operating a military firearm and have the habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. And pizza! Oh my god. I want a slice of that. I can't squeeze my small ass over there? Come on. There's nothing over here, that's why. I feel like I'm missing so many things in this game. I feel like I've been down that hallway. Been down that hallway. Oh, this is different. Oh my god, we're back in school. <laughs> Terribly nice stuff there. Uh, oh, look at that, it's a teddy. Come here, teddy bear. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear. Which says variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. I'm sure he's a sweetheart. Mm, not that. It's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend all the amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort out, sort it out. But the number five still fools you every now and then. Well. Just like school. Bobby Lazy Buffoon, I know you're sitting all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. And also, for the thousandth time, why do you even have a daycare? There are no children here, half wit. Dead. Pork chop. Dog bone. That's not child safety. Look at this. A fucking sword. Oh, it's one of those plastic swords that you get at, um, um, parades. You guys know what I'm talking about? You can get them off the toy parts before, sometimes during every parade. Can I open this? Wait. Who wants to get buffed? Try as you might, you are unable to lift it more than two times in a quick session, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you everywhere you go. Look at that. Oh my god, shower time. Let's get naked, teddy bear. Sweaty headband. This sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for a short period of time. It's not worth the risk. No, not worth the risk. Why do I have a sweaty headband? None. Just rocks. A 
a run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to the discern it to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. So we have Mabel and Chauncey, and also don't drop the soap. Don't drop the soap. Mabel and Chauncey that have accompanied us on our and this lovely teddy bear. We get a grumpy teddy bear out. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. It explains the very promising result after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol of the facility used to create them. Well, you know what? If they want to be a gender, let them be a gender. They are corn. It is okay. It's 2019. I think I think I think we can handle um, gender corn. Looks like a screwdriver or something. Okay. What's this way? Oh, it's just corn. Hi, corn. Are you watching me? Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper probably proclaims now 100% salmonella free. There are no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility, at a, but a very fascinating mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. So I was right all along that was mustard. Ugh, not paint. Hi, Ted. I noticed you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. I had a blow up in my show. My nose wet, though. There's another one, but a be a pal. Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sakes, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? Eh, it's pretty neat though, pretty talented. I wouldn't be able to paint it. Let's follow the... Why can't the mouse hear it? If a tree falls in the wood, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Conundrum. Yeah. Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since the tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct. Well done. At least you're proud of yourselves. Uh. Wait, how do I... No. Okay. A schedule outlining work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts of the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. They are, huh? And now for the next one. Oh, wrong way. A memo, a misinterpreted memo. A memo from the U.S. government directed to a secret research facility, name of which is redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money uh, for the budget. The year on the memo is 1983. Major improvement over the Sketcher 2000 as it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. If you feel like using this to draw a large face, owing to your fascination with foreheads. Ow owing your fascination with for foreheads, what? The invoice for the incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble slabs leading up to the two extravagant toilets and a sink Apparently, I got a notification. The invoice for this incredibly extravagantly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to the two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold, costing the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on the financial culpability. I'm not paying for this. I wouldn't pay for it either, Ted. Ted, Bob, Ted. Bob, Ted, Ted, Bob. Hey, corn people, do you have a screwdriver? Why are you staring at me like that? Why do you look creepy? Go bed. Why am I so short? I'm always short. Can I just get through you, please? Please tell me I'm not stuck. Oh, no. I've done it again. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, This way. Is 
just the way I came. Yes. But I do need to go back anyways. Um, I kind of have a feeling I know I know what I need to do with the uh, sketch sketch thing. Object. There we go. This terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dream have been shattered. Aww. Do I have new dreams now? on a mission to find out what I need. The corner gone now. I don't know how you managed to copy the bathroom key, but good god, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Kid. Bob seems like seems like a terrible person to me. Shit. What is this shit? No, I just trained this way. Is there something else that I missed? Hold on this way too, let's go this way. Okay, this is different. All right, lots of cheeseburgers. Military backpack. Military backpack you carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at this particular moment. Nice. An invoice from a very famous painter commissioned to create a set of portraits of the, fail of the founders appears to be spearheaded completely by Bob, with a very specific instructions on the side of the portrait to be painted, costing the millions. Nice. Got a fucking screwdriver. Bob's favorite screwdriver. Used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It is completely useless for removing screws, but it makes a nice ping noise when tapped against the metal thingy. Me metal railing. This is what I've been looking for. Sugar bagels. Like sugar babies. Bob, you disgusting slob, until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance to the bathroom, and I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. Alright, we're making progress. Hi, 
Hi, it's head. Just heads up. I put you around right here. This way gets less dusty, Bob. Idiot. I gotta go see where my teddy bear is. computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. Well, it doesn't look like it, but... We got a teddy bear! Oh, Jesus. Hello. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? I understand you. Understand what Vladdy is saying. Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? I'm not very nice. Uh, fine. Vladdy help. <sighs> oh. mm. Why, guys, so many. Uh, huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? It's your new arm this I made no for sense. you. It's a grippy grip All thing. Of this is very stupid. It's not very nice, uh, you little rude so, teddy bear asshole. My foot gonna go up your ass. Oh, he's got a little squeak. You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. You know what, Vladdy? You want my English muffin? You can have it. Oh, look at look, he's looking at his little arm like, the fuck is this? You got a little camper's cup. Well, you could have so many things. Come on, you little squeaky bastard. Corn! We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... What is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? Perfect. Correct. Nah! Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No! Give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Why gris omnioi? Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraction! What if you're just gonna be like that? Oh, right! We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very message. important. Yeah, very important. Hit the showers. What's a shower? Hit the shower. I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. Don't worry, Vladdy. I'm with you. Who the hell trapped me with these corn? Look at it. You're so cute. Anyways, everybody, that's all the time that I have for today. I'm super excited. We got ourselves a new little buddy friend here. His name is Vladdy. He's got a little robotic arm and a great big backpack, and he's gonna be my little helper! He's also an asshole, but that's expected with the delusional family. Mm -hmm.